be the man. You gotta be the man. And I'm saying, woo, right here. Welcome back to the channel where the art is always random and so am I. Today I'm drawing a new sketchbook vlog episode and it's Luca from Luca by Pixar. It's a really good movie and you can stream it on Disney Plus and that's about it for the review. I'm out. Nah, just playing. So the movie is like a, a typical Pixar movie. It is beautifully animated and designed. It's crazy how much detail they could get into these movies. But it never actually surprises me anymore. It just amazes me how much better they keep getting. So I'm going to just read what the Disney description is because I suck at doing like, you know, like uh, whatever. Well, anyways, let, let's just get to the whatever the Pixar description said. Set in the beautiful seaside town on the Italian Riviera, Disney and Pixar's original feature film, Luca, is a coming of age story about one young boy experiencing an unforgettable summer filled with gelato, pasta, and endless scooter rides. Luca shares these adventures with his newfound best friend, Alberto. But all the fun is threatened by a deeply held secret. They are sea monsters from another world and just below the water's surface. Ah, so basically uh, that tells you everything you need to know about the basics of the movie without actually getting to details and spoilers. So let's keep going. So they are creatures living in a, near a small town and they hide from anything like moving. Like, have you ever watched Nemo, Finding Nemo? So they fish or, well, except in Nemo, there's not near a town. They're in the middle of the ocean. But anyway, so here they're near the seabed or whatever. They're just chilling at the bottom. There's always fishermen going over their heads, and that's kind of the thing they want to do. They want to avoid anything from moving boats, people, or any kind of thing like that. Luca is a curious younger kid, though. He is filled with imagination and likes to wonder what human objects are and exploring outside the bottom of the sea. His parents forbid him from leaving the bottom of the sea and going onto the surface because it's dangerous and they're scared he might die. One day, he comes across some human objects while walking his, uh, well, while swimming with his pet fish or basically like cows or sheep. You know how the farmers usually walk them in like lines or whatever and take them out to eat and then they get them all together back and then go home or whatever and put them back in their, their cage or whatever. Anyway, so that's basically what he's doing. He's in charge of taking his fish for walks. And what ends up happening is he comes across something like a... It's like a fork or a watch or something. I don't know. It's been like a week since I watched the movie. I forgot those specific details. But he comes across some objects from the human world. He goes hides them. He becomes very intrigued. One day, a few days later, he comes across something else or something like that. It ends up, it's another sea creature person. And it's a kid named Alberto. He is looking for his objects that he dropped there a few days ago. And it just happens to be the ones that Luca found. Okay, so now they're talking or whatever. And then Alberto drags Luca up into the sea shore. And they start walking on land and it ends up that they actually become human once they dry off so now this is part of the movie they become friends or whatever luca always comes to visit him when he's walking the pet fish and he slowly starts getting a little bit you know not trying to hide his footsteps as much and his parents start noticing that he comes come back later and later and later they always hang out in an abandoned watchtower or whatever it was and they're just wondering what it's like to be humans and meet other humans and whatnot and just traveling so what ends up happening is the humans themselves are out in like a small town across from where they're at in the watchtower in the small little island or whatever it is a uh, lighthouse i forgot what it was but anyways so they're there chilling or whatever and then one day luca goes back home it ends up his parents actually found out that well he's going into sh uh shore and he's kind of scared of that he's like oh no oh my god now you got to go to the bottom of the ocean with your uncle and he's one of those fish where uh he has like a light on his head because it's so dark down there that's the only way they're able to see and that's basically it then he runs away he goes up to alberto tells him hey you know that vespa we're talking about to travel the world let's go get one in that small town my parents will never look for me there they end up going to the small town they end up meeting this one little girl they become friends but you also meet the enemy of the of the show he's a champion of champions of champions in the local race every single year and he has like two little minion guys that are just against him or whatever well not against him they follow anything he has to say and they're basically his minions like i said so 
then what ends up happening the whole point of the movie from here on out is them avoiding danger and getting wet because they don't want the humans to realize that they're actually sea monsters because in that little town sea monsters everybody wants to kill them and get rid of them and that's kind of what their thing is there and that's basically the premise of it now they're trying to get into a race with the little girl win the prize money so then they could get a vespa and run away from home and just be happy i guess being adventuring and free from everybody and that's about it for like this quick random rant about the movie it was really really good and i highly enjoyed it uh if any of you have watched it let me know down below like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'd give this movie a 8.4 out of 10 it was pretty solid overall and the ending was really really sad and it gets you in the feels now i'm out <laughs>